Hey everyone, so in earlier lectures we talked about expectation, variance, covariance of random variables and we also saw the properties for expectation and covariance but we didn't see any uh, properties for variance of a random variable okay I mean I was waiting for this lecture because I will need expectation and uh, covariance while proving some of the properties for variance so I'm going to state some 5-6 properties and then we will take some example for better understanding so if x and y are random variable so I'm not repeating what is variance and all okay you can just see my earlier lecture uh, link you can find in the description so now let us concentrate on properties so what is variance of ax plus by plus c where a b c are real numbers they are constants my x and y is random variable now what is the definition if you recall it is expectation of x minus mu of x the whole square so it is ax plus by plus c minus mu x means expectation of this expectation of ax plus by plus c the whole square so uh, this whole square so this is what to define this is how we define the variance right now here this requires a little bit of calculation so just to save your time i have done the calculation so let's just go through this so expectation uh, variation variance of this random variable is expectation of the random variable minus its mean square right so x minus mu x the whole square that's what i did then this i wrote as it is we saw earlier that expectation splits so this is e of ax then again a will come outside minus b e of y minus e of c but expectation of a constant is same c itself so i wrote c here then you can see here the c and c gets cancelled now from here and here you take out a common from here and here you take out b common now this is your one term this is your another term the whole square now you expand like a plus b the whole square so this square so a square into x minus mu of x the whole square plus this a square plus b square plus 2 ab right so this square plus this square plus 2 times their product but expectation is again linear so this is expectation of this plus e of this plus e of this and from expectation you can take out scalar outside so a square into expectation of x minus mu x which is nothing but the variance of x plus b square what is this variance of y plus 2 times a b what is this expectation of x minus mu x into y minus mu y in earlier lecture we saw that that is nothing but the covariance so it is covariance of x y so variance of ax plus by plus c is nothing but a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y plus 2ab into covariance of xy okay so this is one of the very nice and important result that one should know okay now from here one can get plenty of other results now what i mean by plenty of other results so just uh, let me write down this over here variance of x plus b square into variance of y plus 2ab covariance of xy okay now other results as in what suppose if uh, i want to find what is variance of ax plus c that means if suppose variance of x is given to be 10 and if i ask you what is variance of 7x plus 20 then what would be the answer so like in this scenario I want ax plus c right so you put b equal to 0 so what is variance of ax plus c my b is 0 so it is a square into variance of x there is no rule of c at all okay so what is this this is 7 square so this is 49 into variance of x so answer is 490 okay so once you have variance of a random variable you can tell any variance of any its linear expression it's a square into variance of x and suppose my a is also 1 so what is variance of x plus c it is nothing but a variance of x only so if variance of x is 10 if i ask you what is variance of x plus 20 raised to 7 it is nothing but variance of x only okay so when you only translate x plus it is variance of x suppose if your uh, c is 0 then what is variance of ax plus by it will remain the same thing a square because here you will see there is no c involved okay so if you have the variance of x you have the variance of y 
then this is using this formula you can find the variance of ax plus by so one needs variance of covariance of xy okay to find this quantity okay now another observation one can do over here is when your x and y are independent variables when your x and y are independent variables then what is variance of this now we see we have seen earlier that when x and y are independent variables its covariance is zero therefore this term will go away so variance of ax plus by plus c is a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y okay so translation does not affect the variance okay so even if i remove this you get the same answer okay so in general if you have n number of variables say a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a n x n where all of them are independent random variables then what is this it is a1 square variance of x1 plus a2 square variance of x2 plus a n square variance of x n this is true provided x1 to x n are independent random variables otherwise this is not true okay so i hope the properties are clear to you uh, let us see one example uh, one more thing before going to example what is variance of ax plus by it is a square variance of x plus b square variance of x suppose if i ask you what is variance of ax minus by again the formula will be same here minus sign will not come for expectation minus will come but for variance minus plus will only remain okay so people usually make mistakes so i thought let me stress on this point you try to prove so because of that squaring thing the minus goes away because see how you are getting this because here we expanded a plus b the whole square so a square plus b square their minus 2 ab into covariance of xy will come but they are independent so covariance of xy will go away so there the minus sign will go away so for independent events whether you take plus or minus here it will always be plus and the reason i told you because when you expand a plus b the whole square that a square and b square term will remain that minus 2 ab into covariance of xy will go away for independent events yeah so now let's see an example okay so here x and y are independent events variance of x is given variance of y is given you want to find the variance of z so now it's quite easy right so what is variance of minus 2x plus 4y minus 3 it is a square so minus 2 the whole square so 4 into variance of x plus b square 16 into variance of y will covariance come no because they are given to be independent events so yeah you put 5 over here you put 3 over here you get the answer so yeah so this was one example now let me give you one homework question so here is one homework problem for you your x represent the number that occurs when a green die is tossed and y represent the number that occurs when a red die is tossed you want to find the variance of 2x minus y variance of x plus 3y minus 5 now you know the formula it is a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y here minus is there so minus 2ab into covariance of xy similarly for here you can use the formula now i hope i said the correct formula just check it okay so anyways you can just go back and check it now let me give you a hint now what value x can take see now there are two dice green color and red color so when you uh, throw a die what will be the outcome 1 2 3 4 5 6 so x has the value 1 2 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 similarly y has this six possible outcomes both the die are fair die so each has the probability 1 by 6 so you find the expectation of x which is summation x into f of x 1 into f of 1 plus 2 into f of 2 up to plus 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 6 into f of 6 f of 1 f of 2 f of 3 everyone has the probability 1 by 6 similarly for y also summation y into f of y 1 into f of 1 plus 2 into f of 2 plus 6 into f of 6 so on okay so 1 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 1 by 6 plus 3 into 1 by 6 plus dot 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 6 into 1 by 6 so you find expectation of x expectation of y now once you have expectation of x and expectation of y we need to find variance of x and variance of y what is variance of x it is expectation of x square minus expectation of x of the whole square so you have found expectation of x now you want to find expectation of x square 
सो वन स्क्वेयर इंटू एफ ऑफ वन प्लस टू स्क्वेयर इंटू एफ ऑफ टू प्लस थ्री स्क्वेयर इंटू एफ ऑफ थ्री प्लस प्लस सिक्स स्क्वेयर इंटू एफ ऑफ सिक्स सिमिलरली फॉर ग्रीन ग्रीन रेड डाई ओके सो नाव यू एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर मैन एस एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स द होल स्क्वेयर यू सब ट्रैक यू डू द कैलकुलेशन यू गेट द आंसर ओके सो यू हैव वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स एंड यू हैव वेरियंस ऑफ वाई सो आई होप दिस थिंग्स आर क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इफ एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर देन डू नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू